What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Moros tutorial video. In this video, we're going to check out how you can create a Discord bot that listens to any blockchain event that happens on an EVM chain. This could be an NFT being minted, a stable coin being transferred, or in our case, we're looking at a smart contract where donations occur. And then the Discord bot takes that smart contract event and gets the from address and the amount that was transferred and displays it in our Discord server. How cool does that sound? So let me just show you this is working. Let's type a message from our normal account. Just say thank you. That's posted normally, but now if we open up our smart contract, like so. So here we have Polygon Scan open on the Mumbai Test Network, and we have this contract where we have a simple function to donate some Matic to the owner of this smart contract. So if we go ahead and write on the contract, we can make a new donation of, say, for example, to Matic. We're connected with account 0x5DAD. So if we write this, MetaMask pops up, ask us, do we want to donate the two Matic? We confirm the transaction. And as we wait for this transaction to go through, it's pending right now. As it's done pending, we should get a message from our donation bot that a new donation has occurred. And look at that, even faster than MetaMask processing, a new donation of two Matic has occurred. And it's and it's readily available over here in our Discord server. And as I said, you can implement this for anything else like NFTs being minted, stable coins being transferred, any smart contracts events you could think of on EVM chains. If you're interested in this, stay stuck in and I'll show you how to build this. Hey, I'm Jay, your Morales instructor from beautiful Finland. I got into crypto in 2020 and I've been building in the space ever since. In my free time, I enjoy running and at the gym and in the summer, you'll definitely find me at the golf course. Now, let's get stuck in and learn about Web3. Rightio, starting this project off, we have this simple Express app built with Node.js over here. We did something very similar in a previous tutorial, so I have a link to that in the top right corner if you want to check that out first. But essentially, there's just one post endpoint called Webhook over here that takes the body of the request and console logs it. So essentially, on Morales' side, when we get a new stream, we send it to this Webhook, and then we can log the contents of the body for now, and in the future, we'll create our functionality to creating a Discord bot message. All right, and to make sure that Morales can access this webhook, we have to create a ngrok tunnel to this Express app that will be running locally on our machine. So go ahead into another terminal, make sure you have ngrok installed, and then run ngrok HTTP 3000 or whatever port you've selected for your Express app to run on. Press enter on that. And now we have this address where our Express app will be running when we start it here locally as well. So here, as long as we install our dependencies, run npm i express. We'll install all the other dependencies we'll be using in this project right now as well. So run Morales as well, discord.js, and finally .env. So this will be all the dependencies we'll be using in this project. And we'll also install Nodemon so we can make changes to our Express app and automatically reload the Express app, not having to stop our server. All right, beautiful. So then we can jump into the package.json file and create a script to start our Express app start and what it will take is nodemon index.js like so save that we can close our packs.json file and in our terminal we can run npm run start and now we are listening to streams on localhost 3000 as well as ngrok address over here so what we'll do now is jump onto our morales admin dashboard and create a webhook to listen to a blockchain event so open up your browser here, I've already logged in to my Morales admin dashboard. If you haven't, go ahead and sign up. There'll be a link in the description for you to sign up and it's totally free. Then jump into the streams tab over here in the sidebar and go ahead and create a new stream. We'll create one from scratch. And for the address, like you saw in the sample at the start of the video, we'll be using a simple donation smart contract on the Polygon Mumbai testnet. So I have it open over here on the Mumbai Explorer. This is the address if you want to use it when you're building this yourself, or you can use any other smart contract address. But essentially, this only has one function to make a new donation and it emits a donate event. So I'll we'll copy this contract address, add it over here as an address, then we'll scroll down, we'll give it a description, new donation, then for the webhook URL, we can grab that from our terminal over here, jump back to the admin dashboard, paste it in here. And because we want to post to the webhook endpoint, we have to add a slash webhook like so. That should be fine. And then give it a tag. We can just say new donation as well, like so. Then as we scroll down, 
here you have to be careful because this is on the Polygon Mumbai testnet, not the Ethereum mainnet. We have to select the correct chain, Polygon Mumbai, then scroll down. We'll look at native transactions. Because the donations are sending native currency, Matic, we just want to get that information. Then select event emittance, and we can add the contract application binary interface. Jump back into Polygon Scan and scroll down. And here we should have the contract ABI. Copy that, a very simple smart contract, so a short ABI. Jump back in here, paste it in here. And as we paste it, we should get the topic pop up over here like so. So exactly, we have this one topic or event that the smart contract admits. We select that. And for this case, we won't add any filtering. We have another tutorial where we do that. So go check that out on the YouTube channel. Now go ahead and create this stream. Success, new stream created. Now let's go ahead and open our smart contract and our Express Apps console side by side. Radio, like so. Here we see that the streams are working. We got a empty post to our webhook endpoint as the stream was started. So let's open up this console full screen. And here on Polygon Scan, go ahead and write to our contract. So the contract creator is my account one, 0x4D. If we check out my MetaMask over here, we have account one, 0x4D. But if we jump over here to account two no, or account three, zero X four C, which we have connected to Polygon scan over here. So if you haven't connected already, there should be a button over here where you can connect to Polygon scan. And then we can make a new donation and we'll do it for two Matic. Let's go ahead and write this. MetaMask pops up, ask us, do we want to send the two Matic? We confirm. And now as this goes through, we should also get a stream over here into our terminal. And look at that even faster than MetaMask processing itself, we get the new stream over here. And in the transactions array, we have that one object matching the event that was just submitted to the blockchain. We have the value of two Matic and the from address 0x4c and the to address, which is the smart contract address. So now what we can do is use this information to go ahead and create our Discord bot. But there is one thing we have to do because I'll show you there is a little vulnerability in our Express app right at the moment. If we open up the code, we see that as long as anyone knows the webhook URL, they can make a post request and it should fire up the same logic. So if we open up Postman over here, rather than Polygon Scan, like so. So if you don't know what Postman is, it's just a tool to help you make API calls to different posts and get endpoints and so on and so forth. And here we're making a post request to our webhook that's running on ngrok and we're sending an empty body with this post request. If we go ahead and make this post request over here, look at this, we got a empty body because we were able to make that post request over to this endpoint. So what we have to do is make sure we have a check that is actually Morales that is sending the webhook. If it's not Morales that's sending the post request to this webhook, we'll go ahead and respond with a status of 400. So let's implement that next, open up this terminal fully. And because we already installed Morales, we can import it at the start over here, const Morales require Morales default. And before we start our Express app, let's make sure we initialize an instance of Morales. So over here, go ahead and run Morales start, and you'll have to provide your Morales API key, which you can get from your Morales admin dashboard over here, go over to the Web3 API, and you can copy it in over here. So copy that, jump back into Visual Studio Code and create a new file called .env. Here we'll add our API key, which is equal to and paste it over in here. Now we'll save that. I won't paste this because it's always good practices to keep your API keys safe. And then at the start of your index.js file, requiring .env, now you can access your .env files like so, running process.env dot and the variable name we set in our .env file. Save that. And now as Morales start, then only do we start off our Express app like so. So we move this functionality over here into this then function. Save that. And now within our post endpoint, in addition to looking at the body of our request, we'll also look at the headers because there'll be a signature in the headers if the post request is sent by Morales. So we can check the header using a Morales method called verify signature. So let's go ahead and write a try and then we'll catch if there is an error. And within this try, what we're gonna first do is go ahead and verify that Morales signature. So running Morales.streams.verify signature, we're gonna look at the body that's coming from Morales and the headers X signature. 
which will make sure that whoever's accessing this post endpoint is actually our Morales stream. Now, after this, we can go ahead and console log our body or write our other functionality like so. But if we catch an error, so this Morales streams verify signature will create an error if the signature is not the correct X signature, we can go ahead and just console log not Morales and return a response status of 400. And we'll also move our return response status of 200 below this first try over here. That's cool. Let's structure this index.js file a bit neater, like so. And now we can test this out. Let's go ahead and save this. Go into split screen mode with Postman first, like so. Let's open up the terminal a little bit over here. So we see we're listening to stream. Notamon automatically restarted our Express app because we made changes. And now if we make a post request to this webhook endpoint, we should get a error message saying not Morales over here because it's not Morales who's sending the webhook. So if we send this over here, look at this, we got not Morales. And now any of our functionality like console logging the body was not fired. But if we go ahead and jump back onto our smart contract over here, and go ahead and make a new donation, say one, write that. Go ahead and confirm. Now we should get a new transaction pop up over here, like so that new transfer just came through and we get, didn't get the not Morales error. If we open this up, look at this, the transaction details have the value that was sent, which was one Matic and the formatish again was zero X. C. So everything is working perfectly now. Only Morales is allowed to send webhooks to our post endpoint. And now we can go ahead and create that Discord functionality. Let's start by opening up our browser in full screen and going to Discord. So here I have an empty Discord account. Let's create a new server, create my own for me and my friends. As the name will say blockchain notify. Let's add a nice image over here, like so nice little blocks over here and go ahead and create. So now we have this blockchain notify server on discord, and we're the only member in it. And now let's go ahead and add a bot into this server. How we'll do that is go ahead and open up a new tab on your browser. And I'll have you navigate to discord.com slash developers, it'll take you to this sort of page. If you haven't logged in, you can log in from the top right. And I'll show all your applications. I already created one for testing purposes, but let's go ahead and create a new application over here in the top right, press new application. Let's give it a name, donation bot, check the box and create. If you like, you can give your app a little icon. Let's add a little heart over here, save the changes. And now what I'll have to do is press the bot button over here and add a bot. Yes, do it. Now that's great. We'll go ahead and get our token later here when we go back to our Node.js application. But now go ahead into the OAuth tab, press URL generator, go ahead and select bot over here. And what bot permissions do we want to give it? We'll only give it the permission to send messages, then go ahead and copy the URL. And what you can do is paste this into a browser navigation tab, like so. And now you're able to add your external bot onto your server. So select the server blockchain notify and continue authorize, select that you're a human. And now you may close this tab. Now checking our discord. Now we have this donation bot added to our server. Now let's go ahead and write our functionality in our Node.js app to make sure that this donation bot makes a message into our general chat every time a new donation happens on the blockchain. All right, so opening up Visual Studio again, at the start of our index.js script, we can import our discord.js library that we installed at the start and call it discord. Now after that, what we can do is go ahead and create a discord client with this line over here, const client equals new discord dot upper place client. And in the object inside this, we have to declare intents. So these intents are messages that are sent to this client for example, if a new message arrives, a guild member is added, a guild member is banned, etc. But in our case, because we're only sending messages, we don't need any intents. Then let's go ahead and make sure that every time our Express app is running, we go ahead and log in with our bot. So over here, go ahead and run client.login. And again, we'll have our authentication token in this pass key in the .env file. And I'll show you where you can get this pass key and add it into your .env file. So jumping back into Google Chrome, where we have our Discord developer tab 
over here where we have our bot, we can scroll up and you have the authentication token over here. If you reset the token, you'll get a token that you can use to authenticate this token in your Node.js application. So reset the token over here. Yes, do it. So this you should get, keep very secret. I'll just copy it over here and I'll reset a new one so you can use this when this video comes out. Then go ahead and jump into Visual Studio Code. In your .env file, create that pass key variable, pass, which will be equal to, and here you paste that pass key that you got on Discord developer portal. Now go ahead and jump back into index.js. And now we have this client, which has access to our donation bot. What we can do now is go ahead and make this client generate a message into our blockchain notify server. So what we have to do is jump back into Google Chrome and here in our blockchain notify server, we have this channel. If we right click it, you can copy the ID for this channel and you'll need this because that will tell us which channel we want to make the post into. If you don't see this copy ID button, you can always set up over here in the settings, go to advanced settings and toggle developer settings. So we'll copy this ID and paste it into our .env file again. So .env over here, let's create a new variable channel, for example, and that will equal your channel ID, which you will paste in here. And I'll paste all of these in here and then jump back into the index.js file. All right, now our environment variables are all set. We can go ahead and save this and go ahead and in our try, after we've verified that the webhook is arriving from Morales, go ahead and create that message. What we'll do is we can remove this console log of the body and first go ahead and find the channel we want to make the post into. So we create this channel variable where we await for the client to fetch the blockchain notified general channel in our Discord server. Then go ahead and create a message into this channel. And that is as simple as running channel.send and whatever message you want to do. But now we want to make sure that we get the address that has sent the donation and the value that they have sent. So let's go ahead and get those from the body of the request. So over here, we'll go ahead and first select the from address. As you saw, the transactions has an array and the first element of the array gives the transaction details. So we'll get the from address from there. And then for the amount, we do the exact same thing. We get the value of the transaction and we divide it by 18 decimals because Matic of course has 18 decimals. So it'll be easier to read in our Discord chat. And now what we'll do is just generate a message over here into the channel.send method, like so, just saying new donation submitted by then the from address and for the amount to two decimal points of Matic. And that is it. That is how simple it is to create a Discord bot. Now all that's left to do is test out the functionality. Let's go ahead and save this. Make sure that this is running. So open this up. Yep, yeah, we're still listening to streams. So now what we'll do is go ahead and open our Discord channel alongside our smart contract and try and make a new donation and see if the Discord bot actually creates a message into the channel. So go ahead and open your browser. All right, firstly, I have the Discord open over here. Let's just see that it's working. So I'm logged in as Jay Morales. Let's make a message. Hello world. That is working perfectly. So now let's open up our smart contract side by side, like so. So here we have our smart contract and we can make a new donation. We're feeling very generous. Let's donate six Matic. Let's just check we have six Matic to donate. Yeah, we have nine Matic left on this account. Let's write this. Go ahead and confirm. And now as this is confirmed, we should get our bot making a message into our Discord channel. Look at that donation bot, new donation submitted by and for six Matic. How cool is that? You have a blockchain listening bot on Discord created like so. That is so sweet. We can even go ahead and change the address over here. So if we go ahead and refresh this page, change our wallet to say account two over here, which has 14 Matic, connect to Web3, MetaMask, okay. So now we're connected on account 0x5DAD. Let's create a new donation. Let's say for 4.5 Matic. Let's write that. Confirm the transaction. And as that goes through, we should get another message from our bot over here. A new donation submitted by 0x5DAD 4.50 Matic. How sweet is that? That is how you can use Morales streams to create a Discord bot and the Discord server is working perfectly fine. Otherwise, I can make any comments here chilling like a villain. 
and everything works normally. You just have a donation bot that notifies whenever a new event happens on the smart contract, which in this case was a donation. I hope this video was for informative for you and it'll spark new ways of you creating use cases for Morales streams. I'll catch you in the next one.